hey, hello there, good evening, and welcome to the Planet Cruise TV show. If you are a brand new viewer, this is a cruise show that's been running for the best part of 15 years. Uh, we are bringing you tonight some exclusive offers, some amazing deals, and all I can say is, I don't know about you, but I'm just dying to get away, and, you know, it is getting a lot easier to travel, and the cruise industry is back in a big way. Uh, guess who else is back? Glenn, good evening. How are you? All in blue? <laughs> no, you were the boys in blue, aren't we? <laughs> How are you? I really, well, you know, I'm just so happy that you guys are back, Yeah, the cruise industry is back. We are. And we have got incredible deals got some tonight, great right? deals tonight yeah it's january so it's busy and you've been really busy haven't you? oh yeah. yeah really busy so you can see every advert on the tv is about holidays and especially cruising so we're back it's busy uh, everything's getting easier to travel as you mentioned yeah. and uh we're excited for 2022 and promises you're going to watch the show and if you've never been on a cruise you are going to book we'll a cruise book tonight one. but we have got a very special lady with us on the sofa uh, it's been seven months but my favourite person of all time when it comes to the cruise industry is Ruth, as well as you, Glenn, obviously, but Ruth from <laughs> Celebrity. <laughs> Welcome oh, back. It's so lovely to be here. I think I was here for a little while in September. Yeah, it feels so long, but it's wonderful to be back. And we're cruising again, which is just amazing. And you have brought us an exclusive offer tonight, haven't I you? I have. Something on our favourite ship, Celebrity Silhouette from Southampton. What could be better? Well, um, I, I just can't wait to get started. So shall we begin? Absolutely. Let's take you on a little tour of the ship because we had the most amazing UK season sailing the British Isles last year on Silhouette and we had the highest ratings we have ever, ever had. Wow. And of course, the ship has had a $50 million refurbishment. No. No. That was all. Just pocket change, you know us. Oh, and of course, we've got a wonderful uh, video to show yes. you a tour of the ship. And let's look. She looks gorgeous, but now, of course, she's navy blue like her sister, Celebrity Edge and our favourite spot on board, the Lawn Club. And we've got a brand new sunset bar. We've got the Lawn Club grill. Of course, there are so many areas around the ship, be it the indoor solarium, out at the pool, up at the lawn. So there's a lot of space for everybody. The choice of dining on board, whether it's casual to our stunning main restaurant, specialty restaurants, and my favourite saying is, from sushi to souffles, there is someone for everyone. There you are. Look at that. I was dropping in myself there as well. And Le Petit Chef, I did this last summer. It's animated. It's exclusive to Celebrity. And you could see he was preparing the lobster there. And then they served us lobster. Oh. It was absolutely incredible experience. So there's so much choice of dining. And then, of course, there are so many different bars and lounges. And whether you would like a specially bespoke crafted cocktail here at the World Class Bar, I mean, look at the, the masters that sure, have worked. Do you know what? Well, I've cruised with Celebrity more than any other I company. Know. Um, you know. Probably a dozen times now. Yep. For me, they are the and very best. And that's your favourite spot, isn't it? It's... The Martini <laughs> yes. Ice Bar. And these guys are amazing. Look at all these different martinis. It is the heart of the ship. It's buzzing. But of course, there are lots of quiet corners where you can curl up with a book and a fabulous coffee if that's what you would like. We're going to take you and show you the theatre. I mean, look, this looks like the London Palladium. It's so incredible. And, and the shows, the standards are West End standards. You love our shows. You, I, I don't think there's them. a night you don't go, there is, is there? There is <laughs> I've and sometimes been twice. <laughs> and then, of course, our staterooms and suites, all completely revolutionised. Whether you want an interior stateroom, a balcony, your favourite aqua class, right up to our gorgeous suites in the retreat. There's something for every budget and every taste on this award-winning show. Now, if, you, if you've watched that, you're thinking, isn't she beautiful? Uh, she has been revolutionised. $50 million. Yep. Dollars. Dollars. Yep. Let's have a look at her now. Yeah, so you can see she's blue. Now, this is the oh. retreat sun deck. This is for guests in the suites. They've got their own private sun deck with a gorgeous lounge. They even, because I sailed in the retreat last summer, I spoilt myself, and you didn't even have to say, would you like some lunch? Here's a menu. We'll bring you lunch even out on deck. Of course, they have their, uh, we've got the lawn club as well. Now, this is the lawn club completely revolutionised. It looks like you're in New England, doesn't it? Absolutely beautiful. It's up at the lawn. It's fabulous. It really, really is. And a cocktail sailing away is just beautiful up there. The Martini Ice Bar. It is your favourite, isn't favorite. it? Yeah. <laughs> there are 50 different flavours and vodkas in the Vodka Martini Ice Bar, but you can choose whatever you would like, of course. 
Uh, now, the restaurant's a huge choice. Look well, at the look main at restaurant. that. That's oh, our main boom. restaurant. And you can see at the back there the Crystal Wine Tower housing our wine collection. And we have the largest and rarest wine collection at sea. Um, and we have the balcony up there. And you can dine at whatever time you wish. If you want fixed dining, fabulous. Now here, the Sky Observation Lounge, right up at the top of the ship with those fabulous views, floor to ceiling. You see these chairs at the front? They're rocking chairs designed by Kelly Hoppen. Can you imagine sitting there oh. with a lovely drink, be it a coffee or a glass of wine, rocking yourself to sleep? I'd be there all afternoon. Oh, you're you're right, away. Yeah, Sean, that's perfect. Oh, <laughs> see, this have a little Shantini. Little Shantini. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Shantini, I love it. Now, oh, this looks nice. Stella Masters used to be our wine bar. It is now Craft Social. It's a craft beer bar. We like to be new. We're luxury, but we're new. We're modern. And this has over 40 different craft beers. It is a craft beer specialty bar. Oh, how wonderful. So we want to look after every taste on board. And then look at these. The solarium. adults only oh. solarium, which of course I know you sailed in aqua class. Now this area is for everybody, but I know you adored aqua class, did. didn't and, you? Well, I love this area because sometimes you know I, I I'm not great in the sun. Mood, yeah. You know, sometimes I, I, too much sun isn't good for me. So yeah. this is perfect. All the light. If you, also, if you're going out of Southampton, we know the British weather can well, sometimes be occasionally slightly yes. dodgy. Yes. So you've got that as well. Exactly. And thick lounges there as well. I mean, the cushions, it's so relaxing and peaceful. And of course, the thalassotherapy pool there as well. Oh. So you can see, and these are the staterooms. Now, as you know, Kelly Hoppen designed Celebrity Edge for us and Apex and beyond the, the, the latest one coming out. But she was also in very influential in this um, revolution. So you can see here, balcony stateroom, Gorgeous floor to ceiling balconies, uh, all glass, spectacular views, so comfortable these staterooms. An interior stateroom looks exactly the same. You just don't have the, the windows and yeah, the balcony. They're still beautiful. They're still stunning. So there's something for every budget. There really, really is. And then. Oh, oh. a sky suite. This is our lead in suite. So you've got so much space. You really, really have. Um, and we've got some corner balconies, but we go right the way up to the royal suites and the penthouse suites as well. If you've got the budget, which so many people have because they've been saving their yes. money for the last couple of years, yeah, you've got your Make own restaurant with the suites as well and your own sun deck, of course. Make up for lost time, that's what Absolutely. I say. Absolutely. Uh, now, um, <laughs> I'd be happy just to spend uh, the nine nights on the ship, but you are going to visit some... <laughs> seriously. But you do get to visit some great places. You do, don't yeah. You? So we're going out to Southampton, which is always nice. I mean, silhouettes Easy. sell so well. Yeah. We're selling so many silhouettes at the moment, and obviously it was successful last year. Mm. People have tried it and now want to obviously go abroad with these. So we're starting off there, then we're going to stay at sea, and then we head down to La Rochelle. So La Rochelle, we've got an overnight on board, and again, this is the gateway then to go into Bordeaux, isn't it, for the oh, wine area? Oh, it's wonderful. We do great shore excursions there, and Bordeaux is so pretty. You can stay close in La Rochelle because yeah. there's things to do yeah. there. But as we're there overnight, two days, definitely try and take and one a day into Bordeaux. A lot of people the overnights maybe do the dinner on board, then they go off for a stroll into town, maybe go the for evening. a couple of days, yes. then come back. As I said, you've got the overnight on there, which is great. We then head down to Spain, we're down to Bilbao. Uh, and again, we're going to be docking there. A couple of places to go and see here that I really thoroughly recommend. The Guggenheim Museum oh, is one to definitely yeah. go and see. It's a spectacular building and you can spend some time going around there. But you've also got the Museum of Fine Arts. So you've got the Cathedral Santa uh, Santiago on there as well, which is beautiful. But again, if you have a look at Bilbao, just wandering around the streets, beautiful architecture there, nice way to spend the day. We then head on to La Coruna. La Coruna we have got in one of our other destinations, one of our other cruises, so we'll talk about it a little bit later on. But again, a nice destination to go in and wander around for the day. And then we go down to the ever popular destination of Vigo. Popular not only with the passengers, but the crew. They love going off in Vigo. So famous for its fishing village. You've got some great restaurants. When we used to dock there, we used to go off and have lunch in the town area. Some great uh, tapas. You can go and have some fish restaurants, glass of sangria. But again, if you want to go further afield, you've got the beaches there as well, or take one of the shore excursions to go a little bit further afield. Now, if you want to get back on the ship and have a chill out day, we've got another day at sea to experience the beautiful celebrity silhouette. And then from there, we're heading into La Havre. Now, La Havre, as we make our way back, you've got a number of places. You can go into La Havre itself. You can, of course, go to Paris. Uh, it takes a couple of hours to get there if you want to do the Paris trip. I personally would recommend a trip maybe over to Rouen or Homfleur, a little bit closer. Beautiful French towns, 
on Fleur is spectacular, oh, it. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Beautiful. And also the Normandy beaches, if yeah. you want to go yes. discover the well, history. We're, we're there, we're there in the Harvey May on our on our cruise, and we're going to go off to Honfleur for the day and spend beautiful. the day there. But you, again, you can go to, again, Rouen is close as well. So beautiful way to spend the last day, and then from there back into Southampton mm. before oh. disembarking. Uh, now, um, I mentioned that um, we've been broadcasting this show for about 15 years. The price on the screen I'm looking at, that looks like a price from 15 years ago, like 2007. It does, doesn't it? it? Um, and Ruth, can I just clarify? Yeah. It, you know, in, in the old days, you'd have to pay for everything extra, like your, yes. your gratuities, yes. your yes. drinks. Um, well, celebrity is now always included. So drinks, our classic drinks package, which is which so amazing. popular. I know it well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tips, don't have to worry about those, and Wi-Fi. Those are included for every guest in every stateroom on every sailing all of the time. So even for £949, See, you will have all your drinks, tips and Wi-Fi included. And when you it's think, you know, that, that works out just over £100 a night. Yes. With a ship like that. Yeah, with yes. all of your, your, your amazing food. Yes. And the theatre... And then all of, and the drinks are spectacular on that drinks package. Oh, they are. And your wife has it's an incredible. And I say to Phenomenal. people, I mean, we've I've been booking. I booked f five people yesterday, five cabins yesterday on celebrity. It's been so busy, and I say to people, once you've gone celebrity, you don't go back. You, well, look you at me. Very back true. Back time again. And we know it's your favourite. It, it is my favourite. And of course, yeah. the exclusive offer tonight is that for forty-eight hours only, I'm bringing you an extra hundred dollars onboard spend per stateroom, whether it's an inside or a suite. We're going to give it to you. $100 to spend, which might be booking your shore excursions exactly. to Bordeaux, yes. for example. Yeah, or or me treatment. going to buy a new handbag in the gift shop right. once again. <laughs> Get a new handbag on behalf of Ruth. Thank exactly. You know. And for there me, maybe go. getting my beard trimmed in the spa. <laughs> there uh, you go. But... <laughs> That's not going to cover under a dog. He's going to ignore that. Yeah, That's yeah. It'll take quite a while, wouldn't it? Anyway, um, let's show you what's included, because it is phenomenal. You've got 48 hours to get the extra on board credit as well, but always including our drinks. And... We're not talking about just basic drinks with celebrity. The classic drinks package mm. has got a huge and amazing selection of drinks and beverages. Uh, all of your tips and Wi-Fi, you don't need to worry about any of that. You are saving, and this is a phenomenal deal tonight, up to £2,400 per state. We've obviously included that saving in the price. It is a TV exclusive. So you will get from Ruth $100 on board spend, and that's for any type of stateroom, but only until Thursday of this week. You are going to get a, a free outside to balcony upgrade on the 21st of April sailing. Uh, the item is it differs slightly depending on departure date, and you can use, if you've got future cruise credit, you can use that this evening as well. I know we've got lots of um, new viewers watching us tonight. Do not miss out on this deal. And uh, just a few basic, what time are you open till tonight? Uh, open till 10 o'clock tonight and then I'm back in the office at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. And the phone number's there, by the way, 0808 250 2662. Looking at the prices, Ruth, you've yes. got some great upgrades on the 21st of April. I mean, that is amazing. Ocean View, you've got a free upgrade to a balcony. But if you want to go a little bit later in the summer, I do like some late September yeah. sunshine. Nice summer Wonderful. Here, so. Look, a balcony at just over £1,100. And, of course, you'll see those beautiful sailings. Wake up in the morning, you've got your balcony view and you've got your drinks, tips and Wi-Fi and your onboard spend included in that price And, honestly, well. I, I have cruised with Celebrity a dozen times and those prices are incredible. And my, only, my only worry is, and I'll be honest, you know more than I do, I think we are all so desperate to start holidaying and cruising. Yeah. I can only see prices no, going, going up. Go going uh, that's, that's very can true. Can the demand well, is high. Yeah. Can I just quickly say as well, we're selling so many at the moment of the European packages to the Med. Um, and again, mm. we were just talking if about If people it want to fly directly to the Med and not sail out of Southampton, yeah. we're even doing free flights on all our Mediterranean sailings as well. So literally regional departures too. But once they run out, they've gone. They've so gone. you've got to get booked yeah. on that as quick well, as possible. Well, Ruth, thank you so much. My life feels complete again. <laughs> it's been lovely to spend some time with <laughs> you both. Can I just stay and we'll do the whole show yeah. for Celebrity? Well, please come back for our next show, won't I you? Will. Yeah, we'd love that. We really would. But thank, thank you so you. much, Ruth. And thank you for giving us that exclusive My offer. My pleasure. Tonight... What a, what a start to the show, That's eh? the end of the show, isn't it? Is that it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you know, we're actually on time. Normally when Ruth's with us, we go over time, but we're actually on time, more or less. But anyway, coming up next, um, we are going to take you on board Voyager of the Seas with Royal Caribbean. Let's just talk you through right now. Uh, and we're looking at um, an incredible ship. Um, we're seeing it. This is not a cruise. We're looking at so much entertainment, so many things to do. 
Um, you obviously, you, you've got a family great for the family. Yeah, I, I would say, you know, for the families, I still think Royal Caribbean are up there as, as the best, personally, with all the all the stuff they have on there for them. They've got, obviously, a variety of ships over in the, the Med this year, um, all different sizes. I mean, the Voyage of the Seas um, holds about 3,800, so it's still a big size ship, but it's all the facilities and amenities you've got on board. I mean, again, there's ships to suit everybody. Um, but I think if you're taking a family on there, Royal Caribbean is a destination itself. So it's not a ship taking you to another port of call. You go on their board, and a lot of people don't get off because of all the facilities on board. They're all yeah, included true. on there. And I think with the bars, the restaurants are fantastic. But it's all the facilities they have on there as well. Oh, the float I mean, rider, the rock climbing, the water parks, everything. I, if you came back from a Royal Caribbean uh, cruise and said, I was bored, there's something wrong. <laughs> well, we're, we're actually going on, um, we're going on Anthem in May. And, and we're taking a group of us friends that have never cruised before. And they've been looking at the videos. They go, that's not all on there. And I go, yeah, yep. everything's on there for you. So it's phenomenal. You've got all the, all the facilities on there for all ages. This is multi-generational cruising. So if you're going, as adults, you'll have a great time. If you've got the kids, you won't see them for the whole duration. They'll be gone doing whatever they're doing you've got the grandparents get her on the water slide she's 87 <laughs> she'll love it. there's so much going on on these ships but as i said with this one we've got the flights the transfers and the crews included and just have a look at the price lead date there 24 I mean, april not a in, bad price for 49 I, I i i actually was worried about pricing tonight i thought it was going to be really high because everyone wants a holiday again but at the moment we have got really low prices can i just say as well royal caribbean also you can add on drinks packages normally you're paying about £55 a day for the drinks package. For January at the moment, if you book it for the week, it's 275 per person for the week. So it works out about £39.50 for the week. And that's your beers, wine, spirits per person per day. Really good. It's a really good deal. But that finishes at the end of Jan. You've got to get that in now. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to be, you know, be very busy tonight by the looks of things. Um, and let's just show you uh, this incredible itinerary as well. It's a seven-night Scandinavian cities from Copenhagen there. And uh, you fly, of course, first of all. And the flights, right, so you've got um, London and Manchester. Yeah, London and Manchester included on this one. Then you're flying over to Copenhagen. Again, from there, you're going to have your transfers into the ship. And then, obviously, of course, you're going to start. And if you arrive nice and early, you can wander off in Copenhagen. You dock right in the port area if the ship goes in there. And if you want to, even if you've got a few hours, you can wander along to the, the Little Mermaid or have a look around It's a cute place, it's Copenhagen, It's a beautiful it? yeah. place. And even if you're flying back later on the last day, you can have a wander off as well. But Copenhagen's lovely. But this is a, a Scandinavian uh, cruise, slightly different ports than you may have been to before. So uh, next place we're going into is Norway. We're going into Oslo. So, of course, we do a lot of field cruises, which go up that left-hand side up to the fjords. But we're going into the capital, of course, the biggest city in Norway. And you've got an overnight on board on here. So, you know, you can go off, have a wander around, come back to the ship, maybe have some dinner, then go off in the evening, have a few drinks. But you've got the Viglund Park, you've got the Oslo Opera House that they have there as well. Beautiful chance to just wander around. You've got the shop in there as well. Um, and Oslo is a wonderful city. And many of you probably haven't been there before, so it's a nice chance nice. to go and experience. And as I said, you've got an overnight there, so you can stay out, party the night away, and do whatever you want to do in Oslo. We then head around to Kirstensund in um, Norway. So we're going around just the bottom there. We're not getting quite round to the fields, but again, another port that they have. A smaller port, but the one thing they have here is the amusement and zoo, um, amusement park and zoo, which if you're taking the kids on board, will keep them occupied, which is really, really good. And again, you've got the yacht marina, you've got downtown there as well. Slightly more field looking than, than Oslo, yes. obviously, but again, you've not quite gone around there but you will have some spectacular scenery as you sail around there. We've then got a relaxing day and then we're heading back into Denmark and we're going into Skagen or Skagen, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And with this one, you can go off and do your hiking. You can go into the walks. They've got the Grey Lighthouse there as well, which you can go and see. You can take one of the tours, but that's the port that you're docking into. And then of course you can see there the town just to go and get wander around for the day. Then into Aarhus, uh, again, following that round from there. And again, you've got a number of things to go and see here. You've got the Culture Museum, if you want to go in there. You've also got the summer parks. You've got uh, the chance also, if you wanted to go off to Tivoli, back into Copenhagen, to do oh. some tours there. But you the just the wander around cute, doesn't beautiful it? old town. I personally would just spend the day there, one day, yeah. go for a couple of drinks in the afternoon. As I said, many of you won't have been here before. Look, great, if the weather's like that, just sit out there. What a last place to go and spend the uh, final day of your holiday. And then from there, back into Copenhagen, and then we'll get you back to the UK.
Oh, that was that, that's um, a really nice yeah. itinerary. A little bit different. Really, really yeah. nice itinerary. The ship's great as well. As I said, we've got lead date there, the 24th of April. We've got other dates as well, but it's a really, really good price. Well, let's show you what's included uh, this evening with, of course, Royal Caribbean. So that lead uh, price there is incredible, actually. So um, if you do want to go all-inclusive, and I would highly recommend that, um, you can add the deluxe drinks package, and that starts at just £40 per person per day. And, you know, that, it's really worth doing that. Because if you think, uh, if you were, you know, in a bar and you had a few drinks at lunch, then maybe a cocktail before your evening meal and some yeah. wine with dinner, then a couple of drinks after, it does add up. So really worth doing that. Uh, you can fly from either London, Gatwick, or we have got Manchester flights included, which is brilliant. Um, works out an all-inclusive balcony. You can get that for under £1,000. Just a low deposit needed tonight. And uh, if you redeem a future cruise credit, you'll get a bonus $100 on board spend per stateroom as well. We've got um, just an idea of the prices. We've got a few dates here. So either the 24th of April, I tell you what, the August dates are really, really good. good. Really, really good. Again, yeah, if you want a bit that's... of late summer holiday and you can fit in the dates on there for you. But again, if you want to get away in the next few months, as I said, trial Royal Caribbean, especially if you've got the families. But even if you haven't and you're traveling with you and your partner and you want to try something that will keep you occupied on board the ship and occupied off the ship, there's nothing not to like about this one. Well, um, again, if you'd like to book, just give us a call 0808 uh, The phone line's open this evening till 10 o'clock and open first thing tomorrow morning as well. But promise me, if you've never been on a cruise, do it this year because, um, well, you'll, you'll never look back. I, I did my first cruise 15 years ago and, um, yeah, been hooked ever since. I've really missed it as well for the past few years, but it is back in a big way. So what's next? Well, it's time for this week's first Hot pick. Well, Glenn, this is a great one with Adam R, yeah, isn't so it? Yeah, so obviously we're starting to expand. We're starting to go back into our tailor-made holidays, which we've been, yes. you know, we, we haven't done for a while yet with everything going on, but we're back now with a with a passion. And this one's a great chance to go on Azamara. If you've never done Azamara before, boutique cruise ships, they hold about 750 people, drinks and tips included on that as a standard with Azamara. We put it as five star. It's their luxury brand that they have. And as I said, many people that have been with Azamara again go back time and time again. I've, I've cruised them three times and I'm delighted. And it's lovely. And again, yeah. it's very different to Royal Caribbean. It hasn't got the, the rock climbing and the water parks, but it's not attracting that sort of people. It's no. a chilled and it's, out cruise. And it's, it's small, intimate restaurants and spaces exactly. and bars. Exactly, yeah. But this one here is going to give you two nights stay in Dubai and two, two nights in Singapore at the end. Um, you've got a chance there to explore India, Sri Lanka, obviously down to Singapore with the stays. You've got return London flights included this, plus overseas transfer. And again, if you do book by the 31st of January, so you've got a few days, you're going to get an extra £75 off. But the interior on that one is starting at 2699 Not bad. Most of it's all inclusive, obviously, on the ship. For 20 nights, you've got your flights included on that one as well. Yeah, when and of you bet that got... down for, for yeah, the best part of three weeks and your flights on the hotel today. Yeah, exactly. Dad. And again, we've also got ocean view and balconies, whatever you want to go for. But Azamara is a great ship to try. Uh, so again, give us a call if you are interested with the Azamara hot pick this evening. But coming up next, our next cruise is going to take you on board the Queen Elizabeth with the one and only Cunard. And here's a little taster. Well, when it comes to oh, when it comes to cruising, um, when we look at a ship like the Queen Elizabeth, she's a good Yeah, I mean, I was I was very fortunate. I, I used to work for Cunard. I worked on their sister ship, which is the Queen Mary. I, I did a, a year on there, and um, I would still have to say that you know there are wonderful cruise ships, and I say they suit all different types. Cunard's the one with the history, it and, is. What, and what you it tend is. to find is. There could be four or five ships in port, and I know when I worked on there that once a queen sails into the port, that's what everyone's taking the photos of because it's synonymous with cruise and it's got the history. When you go on any of the, the Cunard ships, you've got the, um, the White Star uh, Promise on there. You've still got your afternoon tea with the white glove service. You've also got the pictures around the ship of the famous people that used to travel on Cunard from Bing Crosby to Marilyn Monroe, and if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. But they still want to go quite traditional. Yes. So um, they still do their first and second dining. They do have on their formal nights. So they'll have normally on, on something like a, a 12 night, maybe three formal nights during the cruise. Every other night is smart casual, so you don't have to wear your tux every night. But I do think this is more traditional cruising. And when you get on board, you do, it's a weird thing to say, you actually feel quite proud you being do. on there. You and do. you sail into ports and when you go back and everyone's getting on different ships, 
you go, I'm just going back on my Cunard, and it's still got that. And they have, like, we just saw a little um, uh, clip there, but they still have the ballroom dancing, don't yeah. they? They still got all the traditional on there as well. But then the other way is what's not traditional is the price. Well, I was going to mention the price, Glenn. I'm looking there, it, that just seems so wrong. 12 nights for £664. Well, me and, That's like, to me, 12 nights in the cheapest, most budget. B and B. Well, me and my wife just looked to go away for a couple of nights for two nights. We're looking at 250, 300 pounds minimum for, for two nights away. That's 50 quid a night, 55 quid a night. Glenn, is it, I'm not even thinking that price looks so wrong because that works out just over 50 pounds yeah. a night. Yeah. So again, if you've never oh tried Cunard before and you think, oh, whether it's in the budget or not, the ship's beautiful. They've all been refurbished. I say it's had a big, big refurbishment just before, uh, obviously locked down. It's stunning. You've still got the grand lobby in there as you wander around. You've still got the Cunard service. Beautiful roll court theatre that puts on the shows. Again, you have first and second dining. So if you have first dining, you go to the first show. Second dining, you go to the second show. And of course, they'll have guest lecturers, speakers on board during your sea days as well. Um, the service on board is fantastic. Um, as I said, you've got the Lido pool there to relax and chill out. Depending on what the weather's like, as you head further down into Spain and Portugal, the weather's going to get better. But I think if you want to try Cunard, as again, I talk about what's been going on this month and obviously I'm, I'm at the cutting edge, I'm dealing with passengers every single day and these deals are coming out with QNR but the one thing with these is we had one for February and Pete the phone up going, have you still got it? It's gone. Oh. So if you want to get it booked now, you've got to get booking. That, that will go. Uh, 100%. Um, you know, 100%. You, but you've got ridiculous. the spa, you can relax in, you don't have to go off in port every day but there's nothing not to like and it's 55 quid a night. Yeah. And I, you know, I was in a, in a hotel last week, and it was a nice hotel. But it was nothing special, but that was over hundred pounds a night. Yeah, you know, it wasn't great. It was nice, but yeah. uh, anyway, you're going to get to see some great places. Uh, we're going to be cruising out of Southampton. I cannot emphasise how easy it is when you cruise out of Southampton. It's, yeah, it's an absolute doddle. It's you absolute... turn it with what you want, and again, you know, sort of March, it might be a bit cooler like leaving Southampton, so you want some better clothes. And then, of course, as you head down the coastline, yeah. it gets warmer and warmer, so it's nice. So you can take anything with you as long as you can store it in your cabin. Um, we've then got a day at sea, so you can just chill out, relax. Maybe you've had stressful time over the last couple of months at work and you just want to get on your cruise and relax, but take it easy. And then we head down to La Caruna. We visited there, obviously, on the first cruise we were talking about. So down in La Caruna, again, a number of things to do here. You've got the Roman ruins, you've got the churches, you've got the museum. Um, again, you can wander around the old Gothic-style cathedrals they have there, the city hall. All the ports we're cool we're going to here, you can do tours, which are great. You can also just go off for the day and just chill out and relax if you wanted to. You've then got another day at sea, which is nice to chill out and take it easy. And then from there, we're heading down to Cadiz. Uh, and again, you've got La Plaza de San Juan, you've got the Roman theatre, you've got the Cadiz, uh, Cadiz Cathedral and the markets as well. But again, stunning. We've got the, this um, St John of the God Square, which is lovely. And you get a lot of the bars and restaurants around that area as well. So again, you can just spend the afternoon, a couple of drinks, and sure. just make your way back. It just makes you realise how much we've all missed travelling, doesn't it? 100%. Oh. So where's next? Let's keep then going. Then we go down yeah. to the south of Spain, which the wife just told me she's going to in September on a hen party. Which really? Yeah, like, oh. she snuck that one in just as we were talking about Malaga. She went, I'm off there. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll be looking after the happy. and the dog. Um, so down in Malaga, again... It should get a bit, quite a bit warm here. Yeah, it, it does. Yeah. It gets, it's lovely down in the south of Spain. And again, when you're down there as well, you can spend the day down there just going off there. But you've got some wonderful destinations to go off to as well. So if you don't want to just stay in Malaga, which is nice, you can go off to Marbella, you can go to Ronda, you can go up into the hills in Mijas. You can go to Estepona and also Fuengarola. Again, it used to be synonymous with the Brits on holiday, but they've smartened up their They act. really have. And that whole south coast of Spain now is beautiful and the weather's normally really, really nice down that part of the world. Then we head back up the coast. We go up to Cartagena. That's where I used to have my house over in Spain. And again, here is quite nice because you can go again to the Roman ruins, which you can see there. That's the amphitheatre. And you can wander off there from the ship. And then what you tend to do is come back through the town area, past all the beautiful... Uh, buildings that they have there that's the city hall in the center of Cartagena and then you'll see nearly all the all the passengers just sitting along the that that pier area yes. there the ship's just there and then about 10 minutes before the ship's due to pull up the anchor you see all the all the passengers running back with their uh, drinks still in their hands so it's quite a nice way to do that and then a day at sea and then we go back into Lisbon ever popular Lisbon uh, again you've got an, um, an overnight on board on here so you've got the yellow trams to take you around the city the sailing is lovely and the sail out under the 25th of April bridge uh, the Christ the Redeemer statue, you've got the Bellin Tower, um, but also with that one as well, you've got the glass elevator that you can go up to, or you can go into the large square and loads of bars and restaurants. And if you ever want to find any of the crew, 
past the square, onto the right-hand side, Hard Rock Cafe for a traditional Portuguese meal. It's a, it's a lovely city, is Lisbon. Uh, and then, of course, back to Southampton. Let's remind you what's included. Now, if you choose uh, QNAD Fair, you'll enjoy the choice of additional benefits, and that includes things like onboard spending money, car parking and coach transfers. Uh, summer 2023, you can pre-register now for that. And on sale, the 2nd of February, and for past passengers, the 1st of February. Um, by the way, some of the dates, we've got a variety of dates, but the September date, uh, 23, and the December date, uh, 2022, is on board this sister ship. Premium. And it's more or less Just, identical. Yes. Yeah, so there's yes. no real difference. Same standards. Price-wise, and these are ridiculous tonight on Planet Cruise. If you are able to go on the 6th of March, grab that right now. Even the balcony is only 854, and this yep. is for... 12 nights. 12 nights. That's yeah. ridiculous, isn't 12 it? 12 nights on there for you, yeah. And so, the single price is good as yeah, well. Really, yeah, really, really good on there for you. So I think if you've never tried QNR before, get yourself on it and try it. It's wonderful. Yeah, but don't leave it a second longer. Do that tram book tonight if you can. 08 Ah, oh, you know, it's just so nice to have the show back, isn't it? And I thank you to all the... Um, all the viewers that have been messaging Glenn and I and uh, saying, oh, thank goodness Planet Cruise is back. But it's time for our second hot pick. Now, this is another absolutely amazing deal. If you can get away on the 5th of April this year, this is the Mediterranean Melody from Mallorca. That's easy for you to say. <laughs> I thought I did quite well there. Have you had the drinks package yet? <laughs> I thought, thought I did quite well there. The uh, Mediterranean... Oh, actually, I see. I should have tried. The Mediterranean Melody from Mallorca uh, with Morella medley. Cruises. Medley. Uh, don't know, what did I say? Medley. medley. Oh, medley. Yeah. That's how I pronounce it. Anyway, you put me off now. <laughs> well, I'm doing all right. Oh, mate, you all right. Off, so you get an upgrade from inside night. to outside. Uh, you get £100 reduction included in the price. Uh, so we've included that in the price that you see on the screen there. Now, it's all-inclusive with Morella. So that's flights, uh, your luggage, your overseas transfers, tips as well. And drinks. And and drinks, loads of drinks. Drinks packages yes. included, yep. Uh, and flights from Bristol. Regional flights are available. Obviously, some supplements will apply. But you've got a big choice of flights. Yeah, and you? again, you can fly from regional um, airports there. And again, that date's there, but we've got it all the way through the summer. So all different prices. Check right. out the website. I, and uh, I've cruised Morella quite a few times now. They, they're really good value. They're amazing. But we have got one final cruise for you this Tuesday with Planet Cruise. And it's a beautiful one with Oceania. Uh, we've both cruised with, haven't we? We have. We've been fortunate enough to cruise with Oceania. Again, our class is as five star. At least. Plus, At least. whatever you want to call it. Uh, I still think out of all the ships, and they're all good, as we know, yeah. I still think it's got the best food at sea, personally, on there. You know, they've got the ranch over in Maine. They've got the lobster place over in uh, the fisheries over in New England. Um, and what you have to say with Oceania is it's boutique cruising, um, five star plus deluxe. Um, the, the meals in the evening are synonymous. Um, it's an experience, isn't it? And it's experience. Country club vibe on, on every night. It's a smart casual every night. But this one's nice because we're going over to the Caribbean. So a lot of sort of pool parties out on the, um, on the decking area. Um, you can have your drinks package included with that as well. And as I said, flights are included. And this is a, a luxury five night, uh, sorry, five star uh, package over to the Caribbean. Loads of islands included on this, but look at the look at the, uh, the ship. It's absolutely oh. beautiful. Um, and lots of lots of space per passenger. Speciality restaurants on board. All included, aren't What's they? What's your favourite? Uh, definitely red ginger. Red ginger, yeah, yeah. definitely. And they're included on there as well. No, that one there, one. yes. Um, that's most people think that's some of their uh, favourite uh, food at sea. But again, once you uh, another one, once you go oceanic, you probably won't go with anyone else. Uh, um, the standards are. Incredible. The service is impeccable and the food is to die for. Oh, love to be on board there right now, wouldn't you? Look, look at the at, cabins. I mean, look at it. Look beautiful. At the, oh. Absolutely beautiful. All refurbished in 2019. Yeah. It's only 30,000 tonne ship and it only had 684 passengers on. But it's nice. Do you know, there really is a cruise for everybody. And if you're thinking, you, you know, you don't want to be on a big ship with loads of people, uh, say, just a few hundred here, 600 of the passengers. Let's show you, though, the destinations. There's a lot of good, there's loads. So this is going to fly out to Barbados, ever popular Barbados. Now, we don't want you to get straight on the ship, so we're going to fly you out from London, and we're going to fly and give you two nights uh, stay in a five-star hotel in Barbados just to recuperate, relax, and chill out. Go Fine. to Bottom Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, and then from there, obviously, after your two days in Barbados, you're, of course, going to get on the ship in Bridgetown. Now, what's nice about this, you can have a day at sea just to poodle around, get on that uh, sun deck and just chill out with a glass of wine. 
and then we go and mingle with the rich and famous. You see them all in OK Magazine and all the people that you don't like on the TV are all in St Bart's. That's where the millionaires are. That's where all your beautiful boutique shops are, great waters. Everywhere you travel around here, you've got the Caribbean waters. Uh, and I think we've all missed that. And that's one oh. way to get back to the Caribbean. I'm normally in the Caribbean at this time of year. And yeah, I am. Anyway. Then we go on to Antigua, one of my favorite destinations. Again, 365 beaches on this one. You can travel around the island. Again, big influence with the English Dockyard and Nelson's Dockyard. But again, a wonderful island to go and see. From there, we head down into one of the French islands. We're going down into Guadeloupe. And with here, you may want to take a tour and get out and see a little bit more traditional Caribbean on this one. French influence. Um, and again, a great place to go and see. And that's Guadeloupe. And then we head into Rosso, which is Dominica, not Dominica Republic, Rosso. So Rosso is the rainforest island. So two roads on this, one up, one down. Um, great chance to get lost into the rainforest. Very different from the beaches. This is where Pirates of the Caribbean, a lot of that was filmed there. And I would make, recommend a trip up to Trafalgar Falls, Emerald Pool. It's a great place to go and see and maybe take the wacky rollers out. That's the Jeeps up into the, uh, the jungle. Then we go down to another one, the French islands, onto uh, Port de France. Uh, which of course is Martinique and again another French influence on this one and again a tour out from there you dock in the town there you can go in and have a look around but I probably would recommend going a little bit further afield from there we go on to one of the popular islands of St Lucia you take a trip out to the Pitons which are the famous two hills you see one there but there are actually two um, you can do the land and sea over to Sofri you can take the catamaran out if you want to we do a trip there called Land and Sea, which is really, really popular. But again, St. Lucia and Antigua are probably my two favourite islands. And then you go on to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So St. Vincent, I recommend here that you take a trip out on one of the catamarans. You're in the Grenadines there. Maybe take uh, Jean-Marc, who's one of my um, old operators that I used to work with, take one of his catamarans out and go and get lost in the Grenadines. Again, it will take you all the way along the island there and you can actually go and see where Johnny Depp stepped off the boat in Pirates of the Caribbean. Then into Trinidad, if you love your cricket, obviously famous with the cricket there. Again, more traditional Caribbean island. Again, you dock in the town, you can go off to Maracas Bay, which is one of the beaches there. Um, and then from there, head back into Barbados. A phenomenal itinerary on a beautiful ship with a couple of days in Barbados at the start. Not bad, is it? Oh, it looks abs relax. absolutely incredible. Amazing. Oh, wouldn't you love to book that cruise? Well, you can do, of course, tonight. Let's show you what's included an awful lot, actually, with Oceania. So you uh, you get pretty much everything, don't you, actually? You yeah. do. Yep. Let's uh, bring this in, just uh, give you a little idea. So obviously, you fly to your transfer. You've got that bespoke cruise and stay holiday package. So two nights in a five-star beach hotel in Barbados, and your private transfers, free Wi-Fi, and you can choose from a free house select beverage package. Yes, please or up to $600 spend per stateroom, or up to six excursions per stateroom as well. You'll also, if you book tonight, you will get a free 50 pound Amazon voucher per booking. And uh, also, if you book by the 31st of January, you will save that extra 75 pounds per person as well. Nice one. Well, um, price-wise, we have got uh, just one date on this, the 8th of December. We can see that all of the, the different types of stateroom are available. In fact, I'm just looking at the difference between the outside and the penthouse suite. I know obviously there is a difference, but if it is a special occasion or you, you want to make up for lost time, it would be amazing to stay in that, wouldn't it? Oh, that's it, yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go at home. There's your penthouse suite. <laughs> <laughs> but let's, um, let's just recap all the incredible cruises that we've seen tonight on, of course, Planet Cruise. We started with Ruth, who joined us on the show from Celebrity. This is incredible, it's absolutely amazing. It's an exclusive TV offer, 949 for nine nights, just over 100 pounds a night. And that includes all of your drinks. And we're talking really premium drinks, uh, with a classic drinks package, tips, Wi-Fi. Uh, you're saving up to 2,400 pounds per stateroom. We've included that, obviously, in the price on the screen. Uh, and you will, if you book, by Thursday of this week, you'll get $100 on board spend per stateroom as well. And if you book the 21st of April as your date, you'll get a, 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 a actually a brilliant upgrade from outside yeah. to balcony. And uh, you can use your future cruise credit I'll be in there. Well. I'll be in tomorrow morning. Give me a shout tomorrow morning. Ask for Glenn off the telly. Yes, I'll, Glenn uh, off the I'll TV. I'll in the morning. I'll deal with you personally. That is so good, isn't it? That oh, one? Yeah. OK, moving on to the next one. We're going on to Royal Caribbean, which is Voyage of the Seas. And this is our um, trip over there to the... Um, uh, Scandinavian cities from Copenhagen. Lead date on this one, 24th of April 2022. The starting price on this is 549 per person. 
You can upgrade for 275 for the week, 40 pounds per person per day. Flights to Gatwick or Manchester, plus your transfers included. As I said, if you go for the all-inclusive, you can have the balcony for 999. That includes that drinks package. Low deposits on this one. And again, if you redeem a future cruise credit for a bonus, $100 on board spend per stateroom. Great deal. And then, uh, I mean, another incredible deal with Cunard, of course. And this is on board the Queen Elizabeth or uh, the Queen Victoria, depending on dates. And look at this, 664. This is for 12 pounds a day. It's ridiculous. For five star luxury. I mean, honestly, that is ridiculous. And uh, all you need to do is give us a call right now. I, I think this price, I'm not being for Nicola, but I think they will go up. No, they'll, go. they'll yeah. go. They'll go in the next 24 hours, yeah. definitely. And then we moved on to that last one, which is Oceania. Oceania, which is our Caribbean one. We've got our two nights stay there in a five star hotel in Barbados. Free Wi-Fi, you can choose from the free house beverage, select beverage package, that's easy to say, or $600 <laughs> on board spend, um, or you can go six uh, excursions. You get the free £50 Amazon voucher and you've got that January flash sale um, and started at 3299 And then we had uh, a couple of hot picks. We had Azamara, and think of Azamara as a, like a boutique hotel, and this is amazing. You get to explore India and Sri Lanka, uh, to Singapore with stays, of course, as well, because you do get the two-night hotel stays in Dubai and Singapore. Just uh, call us for more details on that one. And then the final one we had was the Morella one. Now, I think this was based on the 5th of April 22, but they're out there the whole summer. They yes, start they are. the summer season, so you can have another date if you wanted to. Again, free upgrade to the inside to outside, £100 reduction included in the price. You've got your flights, your luggage, your transfers, drinks and tips included, and flights from Bristol, but again, you can have supplements, and it almost flies from most places in the country. Yeah. Well, we are sadly out of time. Do I not miss we did that in time. I know. It's good for us, isn't it? It's really um, good. Thank you, Trevor, and please book your cruise tonight. Uh, and if they're not the ones that you like, then the team are there till 10 o'clock. Yeah. Give them a shout. They'll have a look at other ones for you. But there is a cruise for everybody, and I truly, truly believe that. Glenn, when are we back next? Do you know? Uh, back uh, this time next month, or I'll let you know exactly the dates, right. but I'll be back in the office tomorrow morning. And do check out our dual schedule for our next show. But we're trying to get back weekly, so fingers crossed. Uh, but loads more coming up straight. Cheers, guys, to this. If you'd like to be in the know with the latest and greatest cruise deals, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to receive notifications every time we post a video.